Welcome to Ham Shack Reviews. My name is Vince. And today I'm going to do a video on how to build a dipole. The first thing you're going to need is some wire, a ballon, a couple of these insulators, and some decron rope. Okay, for a simple dipole, the number you're going to need to remember is 4, 6, 8. Now what we're going to do, we're going to divide that by the frequency you want. Let's say you were building the antenna for 20 meters and you want it to be on 14200. So you're going to divide that and it's going to come out to 32.9. What we're going to do, we're going to leave it a little bit longer so you can trim it once you get it made. So we're going to leave it at 34 feet. So you're going to take your 34 feet and divide that in half which would be 17 feet now for the dipole we're going to put it in inverted V formula for this demonstration these will be your two legs and each of these will be your 17 foot piece of wire what we're going to do here in the middle so to be a one-to-one -one balance that functions as a common mode choke. This is to knock off any RF that may be coming in. Then you'll have your coax from here off to your radio. Please excuse my writing. I'm actually writing this with the mouse and it's a little difficult. Then on each end, you will have your insulators and you'll have a rope, maybe a stake in the ground or a tree. You do that on both sides. And then in the middle here, you'll probably have an eye hook. And you'll have another rope pulling this up as high as you can pull it. Now what you do is, you're going to put an antenna analyzer right here. And you're going to check SWR. And you're going to trim it until you get the lowest SWR possible at the 14200 that you wanted to cut the antenna for. Now let's jump back over to the computer. Now when you construct the antenna on the ends, you're going to take your wire, slip it through the insulator, and coil it over, and you're going to wrap it. But you don't want to wrap it loose like this, because that'll pull out. You're going to take it over, going to wrap it, and then you're going to make some tight coils here, like this. And now that ain't going anywhere. But you don't want to leave this end hanging, so you take it, and I usually wrap it with some electric tape to hold it in place. Now when I do that, I'll have both ends here like this in the center, and this is where the balance will go. And what I will do is I'll take this end here, and I'll hook one end right to the terminal here like so. And the same thing on the other end would be hooked like this. Then on the center is where I tie my rope around this insulator, and that's how I pull it up. This end will have a rope tied to it, and you tie it down like this. And that gives you your inverted V. Wire. I hope you found this helpful. Mainly this video is to demonstrate the 468 formula, so you know how to cut the wire. But I give you a little bit more on construction as well. Remember to subscribe, ding that bell, and 73s.